Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sivue Klaraza. I'm a software engineer and in this YouTube channel, I teach you how to build apps, how to write APIs. I also do videos like these, um, like this, where I just talk about my experiences as a software engineer. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get uh, clients as a software developer. So in one of my videos, I mentioned that in my when I was doing second year at university, I started freelancing, um, just getting gigs from clients and working on those projects. And then one of my viewers asked me, how did I, like, how did I get those gigs? So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how I got those gigs. <clears throat> so the first thing that I did uh well i think like it's very important that you need to have like you need to be passionate about what you're doing if you're if like code needs passion yeah well it needs you need to love programming like you need to do it almost every day so i worked on a lot a, a, a couple of apps not any app not a to-do list like i was working on full stack projects well but those were just my personal projects just whenever i saw a need for an app i just created that app mm -hmm. so what i did was whenever i was done building the app i would upload it to google play store and i would post on linkedin like showcasing my app what it does what problem it solves and then that's how uh clients reached out to me like they saw my work and then they reached out to me on linkedin um yeah so that's basically it just create a bunch of projects post them on your social media potential clients will then see your work and then they'll reach out to you yeah so like my i remember my first gig i was building a student portal for um, a college based here in Cape Town and back then I was I didn't know how to charge clients so I just charged them I remember I charged the guy 6,000 rands 3,000 rand upfront deposit so that I can start working on the project and then he would then pay the balance later when I got that 3,000 rand it was unbelievable like because for me, like programming is not a job. Yeah, well, it's something that I love doing. So, like doing what I love and getting paid for that was really amazing for me back then. Yeah, so I did that gig. I completed it and the guy paid the, the balance and it, it was it was like really unbelievable so from there like i got more clients more companies reaching out i've worked as a contractor for those of you all who don't know what a contractor is a contract uh, if you're a contractor you're not like a full time you're not an employee you're not you're not permanent at that company but you just there to work on that particular piece of like i don't know feature or project that you're basically a specialist. Like for like for example, me, um, I'm good at React Native. Company X might have engineers that are like web based, like web and web engineers, about back end and front end. Now they wanna build a mobile app. They might hire a contractor to like help their engineers or like assist at, at, at building that mobile app. And then after it's done, they just say, okay, bye-bye. So I've also worked as a contractor for banks. Um, yeah, basic, uh, basically all banks. I've never worked as a contractor for any company that's not a bank. Um, well, if if you're working as a contractor, then you get a you get paid a lot of money because like you know you don't get those like your your money is not chowed up by like the benefits, the you know like if you are a full time you know there's a lot of things that chow your salary 
if you're a contractor, all, 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 all your cash comes to you. It all goes to you. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically how you... Um, so, guys, please, please share this video, man. I'm, I, I need to, like, get to 4,000 watch time hours so that I can start making money here on YouTube and be able to afford a stand for this phone. My hand hurts so bad, like, come on, guys. If you still, if you want this content, make sure that you watch this video till the end. I should have said this when the video was beginning, though. I know like 70% of the people have already dropped but yeah that's how that's how you get clients that's how you uh, make money as a freelancer just start building on just start building your own stuff first solve your own problems first so that you're gonna be able to solve other people's problems cheers